Today, we're gonna make pad see you. Travelling Australia full time is hungry work. I'm Grant, this is Bianca. Our travel buddies, Frank and Baxter, there's no reason you can't eat well on the road and have fun doing it while exploring our beautiful backyard. Welcome to our new cooking segment in our nomadic kitchen. Yeah, yeah, we thought we'd try something a little bit different because we've been asked, uh, I lost track of how many times <laughs> we got asked, uh, to do a cooking segment and we sort of just keep forgetting. Yeah. <laughs> we, we do a little bit of a cooking thing, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to make burgers or whatever. We've never really done, like, a full recipe and a full method of cookery, so we thought we'd... I don't know, just do something different and have something that's actually searchable to make it easier for you guys to follow what we do. Yeah. So just thought we'd make it easier. And to, to find the recipes because I get asked all the time, like, how did you make that yogurt bread or how do you do your tacos or whatever it is? And at least then I'll have an actual video that I can link you to and you can follow along at home and cook. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're going to take it in turns. Bianca's going to do this one and a few more and I'll do a few and yep. it's basically whoever comes up with the idea and you know they do it <laughs> and it's really like we're just cooking for our own dinner but yeah that's all it is <laughs> we'll share it with you uh so you get to enjoy as well oh I will say as well if anyone has any ideas or any sort of like no oh, yeah. there's no way you can make that out of a caravan or camping or whatever, feel free to set me set us a challenge. Yes, you we know? love that. Yeah, just to sort of go, well, I have no idea how you would do whatever that dish may be. Just send us a message with your idea, with your challenge, and we'll work out a way. The reason why I say that is we live on the road and we cook on the road full time. So... If we want something, well, we can't just, we don't. We, we probably could sometimes go out to the shop and just buy it or whatever, but it sort of defeats the purpose of living on the road. Like, we like to go out every, like occasionally, right? Yeah. But, uh, you know, if we want, like, a pizza or we want pork belly or whatever whatever the idea, the, the food is. <laughs> noodles. Like, paid to you. We just make it ourselves because, you know, I was once upon a time a chef. Bianca's a foodie, always has been. We just like cooking and we can. So, uh, and it, most people can these days just because of all the cooking shows and everyone's got a cookbook and all that sort of stuff. We just want to prove to you that, that you don't have to just eat barbecue meat and vegetables or food from a can so we just thought we'd um, show you home cooking on the road. If you have been watching us, you'll be aware. But if you're new here, um, Grant is gluten-free, so he's gluten oh, yeah. intolerant. So it is harder to find things on the road that you can just go to takeaway and get it. Uh, I also try my best to avoid uh, garlic, onions, and a whole host of other things because <laughs> they don't really they don't agree, agree with, with me. Her. No. I will eat them if I need to, but um, if I can avoid them, yeah, she I, pays the price for it. I afterwards. definitely. And so do I, just frankly. <laughs> but um, it it we do do things a bit different, right? So you can replace or just add garlic or gluten or whatever, but and adjust these recipes for yourselves. Yeah. But we just do things for us. But we're showing you that it's possible. And if you have back on the challenge kind of uh, wavelength, if you do have a recipe that isn't gluten free and you want us to try and make a gluten free version oh, of it, oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Please put that in there as well because a lot of the stuff we make is not necessarily from gluten free recipes. We just think of something that we want to make and we attempt to make a gluten-free version of it with whatever we've got we we substitute ingredients and things like that to make it uh suitable for us yeah and we want to show you some of those things oh let's yeah. get stuck into it then eh? yeah so today i'm gonna to make pad see you mm. so i don't know 
Hopefully you've eaten it before. It's a Thai dish, rice noodles and like a dark soy sauce. So we've got our ingredients here today and I have got a chicken breast. I'm using two eggs. I have choy sum. That's right. Choy sum. <laughs> I have choy sum. It is looking a little bit worse for wear, to be honest, because I did buy it a couple of days ago. That's just part of the, the, the authenticity and the yeah. and the real life living on the road, right? You, you're using whatever you got in the that's, in the fridge at the time, yeah, so and, that's what and it got. could stay there for for four or five days before you do. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we've got. So that's what I'm using. If I couldn't find choy sum, I would probably go for like a broccolini or something. I'd probably just chuck in instead rice noodles and some sauces. We're going to go with vinegar. I would prefer to have rice wine vinegar, but I pulled ours out of the cupboard and it had stuff floating in the bottom, so I didn't want to use that. Mm -hmm. Oyster sauce, sweet soy. Uh, this bottle I got at a random place in Grafton, which has been shut down now. Uh, it is gluten-free, but it's very, very hard to find sweet soy gluten-free. And there's probably like an inch left in the bottle, so it won't last very long before we'll be run out of that. Uh, gluten-free soy, and then some brown sugar. Chili? No, no not in Pad Siu. Oh, my God. Yeah, so that's Pad Kimau. No, yeah, you, you, you put chili in everything. I do. <laughs> so that's another thing to take into consideration. Do whatever we make, just if you don't like chili, just don't put chili because there's probably going to be chili in it. Just omit the chili. I do. I put chili in everything. So that's it. Let's start cooking. Hmm. Okay, first thing we're going to prep is my slightly wilted choy sum. And all I'm going to do here is I cut off the knobby section, throw that away, and you just kind of chop it into like sections about two inches or so long whatever you feel comfortable eating i'm just going to chop it up and then when i get to the leafy section i just chop that up slightly smaller because i don't like giant chunks of the leaf when i'm eating okay we've got our choy sum all prepped just got my one chicken breast in my little glad bag i portion up my meat when i buy it separate it into the freezer so that it takes up less space, to be honest. I, If I want more, if I need to make more, I just grab two breasts out, but generally we just use one at a time. I'm gonna chop the breast in half and then cut it into smaller strips just because it cooks a lot quicker. The smaller and thinner the bits of chicken. Now don't, don't look too closely at my knife skills because I am not the chef. Grant is, so when he gets onto his cooking episode. Don't look too closely at mine either. <laughs> you can have a go at his. And uh, maybe Grant can, can teach you a thing or two, because I definitely cannot. Don't mind me. I'm just like standby, cameraman, having a drink, um, and just uh, throw again the commentary every now and again. I've been out of the game for a long time, so yeah, don't, <laughs> don't be too critical of my skills either. It has been a little while, uh -huh. so I think it's probably been 10 years or so since oh, you were probably working in the kitchen. We don't class when we worked at Cadney at the Roadhouse as a kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> no, no offence, HR and, and Nev, but um, yeah, no, it wasn't, it wasn't what I classify as a kitchen. We might need to, um, to get a, a higher table for when Grant does his cooking segment because this is a little bit low for me even. Well, I may have to just prep inside <laughs> and then come outside and cook. Yeah, I'll use the trundle tray from the from the car oh yeah because that's a That'd bit be higher because work, obviously it's well actually it's not a car it's a truck and that's um definitely higher so we just got gate crashed um by three kids that were just like getting around just yelling at everyone and everything and came over to see if we had any food to give them and um i'll just give you a bit of a look Hi. <laughs> Oh, hello, you meatball. <laughs> How cute are they? No, I can't touch you, buddy. Look at this one. Oh. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? I can smell the chicken. I can smell the chicken. I can smell the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> they're, um, they're helping us film at the moment. So next prep is, um, I've got two eggs, which I'm gonna be cooking in the wok. I'm just gonna crack them into my bowl and scramble them and get them ready. 
egg aside, choy sum, chicken, egg prepped. Now the next thing is marinade. I'm gonna make my marinade in my little jug. So we're gonna go in uh, with the sweet soy. To start with, I'm making a portion for two people. So if you want more, um, then obviously double this recipe. Out of the bin. Hey. Go. Cool. <laughs> now, to be honest, I think I'm gonna use whatever's left in this bottle. It is probably about three teaspoons. If you've um, watched our Gib River episodes, this, this is the bottle that leaked and fell over. So it doesn't have a lid on it, you just kind of cut the nipple off and it's open. And we didn't put it away properly after we made the fish, after we cooked up my fish, and it toppled over on the road and we lost half the bottle. So I'm quite sad about that because I don't know where to get a new one. Yeah, so on that, if you, if you haven't been watching our traveling videos, we have traveling videos and we travel around full time with our two dogs, but they're not here at the moment. So we're just doing the top end and we just thought, you know what would be a good idea if maybe we do some cooking videos. So here we are. <laughs> here we are. Okay, so I've got, I'm gonna call that three tablespoons, three tablespoons of sweet soy, ketchup menace. And now we're gonna go in with some soy. So obviously we're using gluten-free soy. Let's go with another three. Oyster sauce. I'm gonna go in, let's go with another three. Let's just keep it even. Like if I had a recipe, it probably would tell me something slightly different, but we just, this is how we roll. We just work it out and adjust when it doesn't seem right. If you don't have any um, oyster sauce, you can just use fish sauce and it'll give you a similar type of product. Or hoisin. Um, yeah, hoisin is another good one. And then I'm gonna go in with some brown sugar. You can use palm sugar if you've got palm sugar. Well, basically any sugar you've got. I'm just gonna go in with like a bigger teaspoon brown sugar. And then last ingredient is some vinegar. So rice wine vinegar, I would prefer to use. As I said earlier, the rice wine vinegar that we had in the cupboard was like growing stuff. Didn't think that was great to use. So we'll just go, go in with the normal, normal vinegar. I'm gonna go three again. Hopefully this is all right to give them a taste. I want a bit of extra sauce. Um, so I'm gonna put some sauce on the chicken to marinate it. And then the other sauce will go in with the noodles. And I want the noodles to soak up all the extra sauce. So let's give it a go. I feel like I might need a little bit extra vinegar. Yeah, that seems about right to me. Four. So four. <laughs> so my chicken, uh, and I'm just gonna go in with about a third of the marinade, save the rest for the noodles. So all the prep is now done. I like to have everything prepped before I start cooking. It just makes it a little bit easier in my, my flow and the way I do it. I'm also gonna be cooking like everything kind of separately as I go and then combine it all when we get to the end. So first thing first, let's start the, the burner. These burners are hot, like they have so much heat in them. So I've got this sitting at about half, half of the, the strength. I did cook on this last night and I had it up at like full and it was way too hot. So I'm going about half. If I need to up it, I'll up it. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna cook off is my egg. So it's all whisked already. And just, just, you know, mix it around. You kind of just want it cooked and a bit messy. It doesn't take very long for these eggs to cook in here. Okay, egg's done. And I'll put it in my bowl. A little bit more oil, let's heat that pan back up again. And I'm gonna cook the chicken. I'm probably gonna cook the chicken in two different sec, two different lots. Just 
turn the heat up a bit higher just for the chicken to sizzle away. <laughs> Let's see if I can do that when I have noodles and everything in there. <laughs> Probably not. Cook to me. Just let that heat back up again. Question, if this little Jack Russell is just going to hang around us for the next hour or two, does that mean we keep him? Maybe. Because he's kind of cool. Very cute. What's your name, buddy? Go. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm here cooking and I've got a little audience. Your friend. <laughs> the, um, we're staying at a hip camp uh, just outside of Darwin. And uh, obviously this is the owner's dog. <laughs> so cute. Okay, chicken. Done. Okay. greens sauteed so I've got that choice um chuck it in give it a little wilt okay that'll do for the choice um Okay, so we're going to end with the noodles. I've got these like soft, fresh rice noodles. I found them at IGA in Kununurra, of all places. And I, I, to be honest, I couldn't go past. I think it was probably like $6 or something. And I haven't seen fresh rice noodles for, I don't even know how long. And I just had to buy them. So I'm going to use half the packet in here. I'm just trying to get in there and just separate the noodles out a bit so they can warm up and start to cook. Actually, might need to go in with a bit more oil. I feel like they're just sticking at the moment. Go in with some sauce. I want my noodles to like heat through uh, and I'm going to chuck the sauce in in a minute and then we'll combine everything together. I will say the more you stir, the more your noodles are gonna break up. Now, if you can't find these rice, the fresh rice noodles, just cook in with the rice stick noodles. So you can buy these from any supermarket, usually about $2 a packet, so they're super cheap. And you just wanna boil them for about five or six minutes, get them nice and soft, and then you can chuck them in the pan and continue the rest of the process but found fresh ones that's always the best way to go in my opinion okay let's go in with the rest of our marinade now can i 
Let's see, let's see. Can we do it? Uh, nope. <sighs> nope. Oh, Nelly. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not really as good as Grant can do it, but kind of. <laughs> so I've got a big chunk that's stuck together. I'm just going to try and get that to the bottom to heat up. Fill the chicken back in. The, the egg back in and the choice sum Thank you. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> I do like it when the noodles get that little bit of like charring to it. I don't know, it just kind of adds to the whole experience and the flavor. But this is pretty much nearly done. What do you reckon? That was pretty good to me. Yeah. Okay, turn the burner off. That's it. We have pads for you. Now it's just time to dish it up. Wow. It's actually quite big servings, so definitely. Hey, Paw Patrol. Oi. <laughs> Poor patrol. He's a little pause and he's on patrol. <laughs> so cute. Hey, what are you doing? Here we go. Pad to you. Okay. It's gonna be hot. I mean, it's pretty good. Not bad. That's pretty good. Only need steak away. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Pepper. <laughs>